Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can plot a simple graph of force constant using Desmos. So these are our sample readings. So you can just go to the website desmos.com or as well you can download it from the Play Store. So click start graphing. Here what you see on the left hand side is the input field and on the right hand side is where the graph will be plotted. So you can input the graphs as simple functions or you can also plot data points. I'm going to show you how you can plot data points. So there's a virtual keyboard that is available. You can just click it on it. On this field, let's start plotting the points. The first point is 0, 0. On the x-axis, I'm going to take the, the extension and on the y-axis, we have the mass so you can just drag it in the center of the window let's start by plotting points so we write the coordinates 0 0 as our first coordinates as you can see there is one red dot that appears at 0 0 and I'll click below it at number 2 and you can now input another point so I'll do that this is the value at mass 50 1.8 so you can see that it goes out of out of the field of view because 50 is not there on the y-axis it goes up to 8 only so you can just pinch to zoom out on the y-axis then you can see that there is a point a blue point you can just press shift and zoom on to any of this axis so now i have the field of view in which i have the y range from 0 to 300 and uh, this x range goes up to 16 although I don't need this big let me just zoom in a bit more right so we have all these points and as you can see uh, these points appear to be falling in one line. So we are now going to plot a straight line that passes through these points. And the way to do it is to remember the equation of a straight line, which is y equals to mx plus c, where m is the slope. Since there is no intercept onto the y-axis, our graph should pass from 0, 0. The value of c is 0. So the way we plot is we do not write y equal to mx plus c. We simply write mx plus c. So this is m x. As you write m, you see it shows an option for add slider. So we'll just add a slider over here by clicking m. Now what this does is it allows you to change the value of m from the predefined set of values. In this case, it is minus 10 to plus 10. Okay, and plus the intercept plus zero there's no intercept on y-axis if you look at this slider then you can change the values and you can see as you change the values it changes the slope of the graph so if i if i give positive values it gives me a graph that has a positive graph of a straight line that is a positive slope it goes up to 10 and as you can see the 10 is not sufficient the line is still not steep enough so what you can do is you can change these values just click on it over here i don't want negative values so i'll start with zero so i'll just input say zero over here and uh, let me make it go up to 100 and see what happens so steps you can choose one two five then let me choose one as the step so once I have this and then I have this slider, okay, then that goes from
0 to 100. So as we can see, as we go on changing the values, our points seem to be lined at a value of M, which is close to 24. In fact, we have one, two, only two points along line and these three points. So let me just increase it a bit. You can as well directly put the number over here. So let me just put 24.5 and see how it works. Well, like this looks good because two points just above the line, almost two points on the line and two points below the line. Right, so we can as well calculate the value of K by inputting the equation for K. where m is the slope and we get the value of k to be 24,010 dyne per centimeter square. Uh, as you can see the line sort of extends to infinity uh, over on the right side and also goes below left quadrant. Okay, so uh, is it possible that we draw it only from 0 to a particular value? The answer is yes, it is possible by restricting the domain. So this is the equation of line and the way you restrict the domain is by specifying the conditions within curly parenthesis. So I start by drawing a curly parenthesis and then I specify the conditions that I don't want x to go below 0 that is I don't want x to be negative and moreover 12.4 is our last value so I don't want it to go beyond let's say 13. So I'll just input the conditions in this curly braces. So 0 less than equal to x. So as you can see, as I put 0 less than equal to x, it does not plot values, values of x which are less than 0. And less than equal to, say I want it to be maximum of 14. So then you can see your graph is somewhat complete. It only plots values between 0 and 14.